here at their third annual open house for Irvine's police department, hundreds, if not thousands of members of the community are out here to talk one-on-one -on -one with police officers and most importantly, to meet their newest four-legged members. to take this opportunity to have people come to our house so to speak and really let them in and, and see the station and meet the canines meet the new mounted unit talk to our dare and SROs you know to really understand what goes into um, policing this community and really to build those relationships people are invited to take a self-guided tour of the station including the temporary holding cells we've never been inside so we got to get a tour which is awesome got to go inside the jail cells and pretend we're we're inmates or or whatever. <laughs> My son loved that and um, uh, got to meet some police officers and uh, just see what, what they do. Also they could check out the watch commander station and read about the history of the department. The latest history making component Chief Hamill shares with us. Scar the show today is our mounting unit. We uh, formed a um, horse mounting unit with support of uh, the council and the city manager about three or four months ago. It's been a big hit. We've deployed it at community events. Uh, we deployed it recently at um, the concert series at the new 5 Point Amphitheater. Uh, we deployed it for another uh, law enforcement event, Now Shine Out, a few months ago. And being on a horse gives officers better visibility. And in Sergeant Dennis Maisano's case, Police Mount Frosty helps get the job done. We get a different perspective from 8 to 10 feet up in the air, which is great. And then the other part of it is, is that people will come up to us when we're riding our horses and want to take pictures and, and want to pet them, which that's that bond that you'll never get. It's just a police officer on the, on the ground walking. So it really makes it, makes it really nice to have that and have that bond with the community. The officers have the bond with the horses as well. They go home with them at the end of the day and are part of their family. I've had him for a year and a half. Um, he's a rescue horse from Pennsylvania. Uh, so he takes care of me pretty good. We train a lot on the off time. This is all new to him and he's taking it really good and we've been doing the concerts for the past three nights and he's really good with it. Now to the team of SWAT officers who handle more intense situations if and when they arise. They have special gear to help in special circumstances. Each person has their own specific reason for what they have on their vest. Um, we use the adage Ounces lead to pounds, so each person tries to carry their own load. We have some that are medics that have specific medic stuff, some that are grenaders that have specific gas plant stuff, some that are entry that have entry tools, so each vest is different. Inside, a mock crime scene to test the public's skill in being a witness. Outside, a bike rodeo, teaching safety on the streets, where children have the chance to ride alongside bike patrol officers and another bike-related addition to the department. We had a new thing that I hadn't seen yet in the city, which is really terrific, which is a bike valet. So, so we know that traffic is a challenge, and it's great for your health to get out there on your bike. So you can drive your bike up to some of our events, just hand it over to an officer, they'll park it, you get a ticket with your name on it, and then you come back later and pick it up. It's great. Yes, have a fun day, bye-bye. <laughs> I came today with my family uh, in part to celebrate the hard work that the police do in the community every day and also to be able to meet people and talk about the issues that are facing Irvine residents. You know what really struck me is um, just next to us is set up a chalkboard and it has a big IPD written on it and the community is able to leave little notes of encouragement and what I'm taken by so far is how crowded that board is with really loving and encouraging statements from the community to our police force. And for those who want to be permanent members of the force, there are opportunities as well. I'm at the actual recruitment booth and we're trying to invite people from our community to come look at the different opportunities that we have to be employed here at the city. Um, if anybody's looking for a career change and they're enth enthusiastic to help the community and a meaningful job, come join us. We have a website. 
The website is irvinepd.org. And if you'd like officers to join your community meeting, they invite you to reach out to the department's public information office. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.